So yeah, here's where we left off, and now let's take care about um, that wristband here. Um, first of all, we could, um, for performance sake, um, delete a few edges here on that guy. So let me switch to the top view, go to edge mode, and I double click on this edge loop here, shift double click on the next one, shift double click on the next one. So we don't need those uh, um, edges, edges there. So, so let's select the next one as well. And then say delete edge here. So click on that button. Okay, so we have a bunch of uh, edges uh, less on that piece. And now let's uh, center the pivot of that guy. And let's um, duplicate this. So hit Control D and then go to the top view and bring it right below that other guy somewhere with a little distance somewhere about here okay i think that's i think that's okay and now let's go in here and um check out that uh, translation here of uh, that copy of that uh, duplicate. So let's um, select that number and hit Control C to copy that number. And now we go to our um, duplicate special tool here and say, okay, we want to copy that. Um, and Z, paste that number in. It's in my case uh, 5.452. And um, I need four copies. So dial that down to four. And the rest of it should work fine. So hit, uh, let's hit apply. Okay, so we get the one side done here. Okay, so select uh, that all the six pieces here. Let's group those. Hit Control G. And then um, with that group selected, hit Control D to du duplicate that group, and then scale that group negative one and X. Okay, so we get the two rows here and then we take the first one here and um, yeah again let's um, hit control D to duplicate that guy and move it to the center of the grid so I move it in X and then hold down X and middle mouse over the center of the grid here and then I move it um, from the top view somewhere I want it to be so somewhere about here. Okay. And now we have to, before we duplicate this guy, we have to scale that out. Okay, let's um yeah, let's try to scale that guy. Let's go to perspective and see how that looks if we smooth uh, it out because he um, yeah, had almost uh, already or al also stretched those lines here on the border. So let's uh, try to smooth that guy and check it out. Yeah, but it's still looking, it's still looking all right. Okay, it changed um, that border here a little bit. So if you compare it to the original one, if we smooth that out. Yeah, well, that's that's okay. That's just a minor difference. I don't take care about that. Um, okay, so with that done, mm, we go in and do the same on this guy. Um, but we first of all, we have to freeze the transforms on that. And then we go in and say, Edit, Duplicate Special. And let's just uh, hit Apply. And there you go. So we got four copies. And let me take a look at that. I think that's that's all right. So in here, uh, later on, we put some other geometry. So with that done, um, yeah, let's select all of those and hit one to go to a low poly view on all of those objects. And now let's try something. And I know, yeah, what we could do now to bring this into a shape of a wristband here. Uh, what we could do is, um, yeah, just create some 
bones in there and um, uh, or some point constraints or something that's something we could do but that's something I don't do right now okay so I'm gonna bend this and uh, try to bring this into position um, okay so with uh, that uh, all those selected here let's uh, hit control G to group those and then with that group selected center the pivot and then we go in and say okay create a bent deformer under uh, your animations tab create deformers nonlinear and bent and again um, go here to inputs of that bent click on curvature middle mouse and bend it a little bit so it's uh, bending in the wrong direction again so we can fix that by rotating the bent deformer so let's rotate that guy negative 90 degrees and Z and then negative 90 degrees in X as well. <coughs> okay, so let me check it from the side view, how that looks here. Okay, zoom out. Let me take the curvature and yeah, let's try something like this. Okay, from this point on, it's a good idea to save your scene because um, yeah, if the bend here uh, is not right, you can later uh, load in that uh, scene file and then um, uh, redo that. Because when we now I want to move um, the, that group here, and that's what we have to do, um, we have first have to delete the history. So it's always a good idea to go in and say, okay, I want to save the scene here. I call mine 32, the wristband, part 6. And from this point in the video, um, yeah, I already uh, used that, uh, um, that scene that we just saved here. Because um, yeah, the bend that I did the first time, it could have been a little bit more. So this time I'm selecting the bend deformer and um, give it a little bit more curvature here so click on the curvature and hit control and middle mouse and bend it even a little bit more so right now I'm having 1.2 let's try something like 1.2 and now let's uh, select one object hit the up arrow key to go to the group and delete the history now let's um, rotate that group 90 degrees and X and now let's um, go to the side view and move this guy into its position uh, we can turn off um, in the side view here the NURBS curves and NURBS surfaces and now we bring this guy somewhere where it should be so let's check it out from the perspective view so if everything is all right, so we could bring it a little bit closer to that watch. Not too close. Okay. So let's go with this one here. Okay, if you take a look at that. Yeah, now we have uh, we have that wristband here coming down and yeah if you take a look at some images you will see that the lock of that wristband down here is almost the same length of that watch or it's it's even a little bit longer so right now it's looking a little bit weird but yeah let's we just leave it like it is for now and um, yeah let's uh, pause the video and um, let's finish this up in the next one here